Hi there, and welcome to my podcast, Hashtag English Tenses. In this series, we're going to take a look at different English tenses. I will show you exactly when and how to use them and the different mistakes to avoid when using them. We will also go through lots of practice exercises together so you will learn exactly how to use those tenses correctly. And do not forget that tenses are other ways to express time in English like the present, the future, the past, and so on. In this first episode, we're going to talk about the present and the different ways to express it. The present can be used either in its simple form known as present simple or in its continuous slash progressive form known as present continuous slash progressive. First of all, the present simple is used when we want to talk about something in general, when we want to talk about something permanent or when we want to talk about something repetitive. For example, I take You can repeat it with me. You take. We take. They take. He takes. She takes. And it takes. Now, when it comes to the present continuous or progressive, we use it, we often use it when we are talking about something that is happening at the moment or something that is happening now or something that is happening temporary. And we got an example for that. I am talking to you now, or the contracted version, I'm talking to you now, okay? As you can notice, that is the basic description of the differences between these two tenses that you can keep in mind as we now move forward with the present simple tense. Now, let's take a look at when we use the present simple tense, okay? So we have different situations here in which we can use these tense. Let's go through them one by one. The present simple can be used to either express actions or things happening in the present or to express actions or things happening in the future. Let's say the nearest future in this case. So now when it comes to the use in present, we have different possibilities. For example, we can have habits, meaning things happening repetitively in time, repetitive actions, right? For example, she goes to work every day. We can also have short action now, meaning a brief action just now with the goal met, and that's it. As for example, we have, he takes a shot and hits the target. We can also have facts. Those are things that are always true. And this is about things like theorems, laws, for example, in math. Although these last ones can be amended, changed, or updated. As for example, we have, the sun rises in the east and the sun sets down in the West. We also have permanent situations, and those are cases in which we express the truth of the moment. For example, I live in Berlin. That is true for now, or permanently true. Now, when using the present tense to express the future, we have two possibilities. On the one hand, we have the future in time clauses, and on the other hand, we have the future timetables, like schedules, for example. On the one hand, the future time clauses tells us when an event will happen. However, in order for the future event to happen, another future event must happen first. For example, I won't go out until it stops raining or When the sun comes out, we will play soccer. And 
here are some common words which introduce future time clauses. When, after, as soon as, before, until, and the minutes that. On the other hand, we have the future timetables or schedules like we said before. Knowing that a timetable is a schedule that shows all the times a train, bus or airline service has its trips. These times are fixed and do not change. So when we talk about a timetable or scheduled events, for example, the beginning of the school year or a national holiday, we use the simple present. It is clear from the context that we are talking about the future. Let's talk about some examples here. Catherine's flight leaves at 7.43 p.m. It would be incorrect to say that Catherine's flight will leave at 7.43 p.m. So that means that we don't use the simple future with will to talk about future schedules or timetables. We must, absolutely must use the simple present. The present simple can also be expressed in three different forms as a positive, negative sentence, or as a question. A positive sentence looks like I, you, we, they, take, and he, she, it, takes. For the negative sentence, we need to use a helping word do. For other cases, we see that later on. So, and because the action lies in the helping word, we need to negate it. And it gives us I, you, we, they do not take. And if we squeeze them together, we will have don't take. And also, he, she, it does not take. And if we squeeze them together, we will have doesn't take. For the question now, the helping word has to be before the subject and the sentence ends up with a question mark. Then we're going to have do I take, do you take, do we take, or do they take. And furthermore, does he take, does she take, or does he take. Now, let's take a look at some of the spelling changes we need to make in the present simple tense. And remember, we only need to make those changes when we are using he, she, or it. I mean, the third person singular. For must verb, we just need to add an S at the end of the third person singular. For example, for dance, we have he, she, it dances, cook, he, she, it cooks, and for sleep, he, she, it sleeps. For verbs ending in S, SH, CH, and X, we need to add an E and an S. For example, for kiss, we have for the third person singular, he, she, it kisses. And for wash, he, she, it washes. For teach, he, she, it teaches. And for fix, he, she, it fixes. For verbs ending in consonant and Y, we have to drop the Y and add IES. Let's take an example here. Study ends with Y, but before the Y we have a D. That's why the he, she, it will be studies with IES. And for try, we will have he, she, it, tries. The cases cited before are kind of a pattern, and but there are some cases where the verbs are totally different and they are called irregular verbs, where the radical of the verb completely changes or the pronunciation or the ending is totally different. You might be aware of some cases, but let's take some examples here. For go, we have he, she, it goes with es. And for do, we have he, she, it does 
with ES again. And for have, we have he, she, it, has. Now that we're done with the present simple tense, we're gonna move forward in the next class with the present continuous, AKA the present progressive.